Welcome to Perfume and Potter Style. Because all of us at some time or another has wondered what their house perfume is like, right? Um, never mind. Any excuse to write about two of my favourite subjects, perfume and potter. The houses at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry each accept students with very different personalities. Perfumes also have very different characters, and what smells divine to one person may well reek like a mouldy potato to another. So I wonder what kind of perfume would suit each house at Hogwarts. This is all complete conjecture, obviously, but as J.K. Rowling has thus far made no comment on the subject, we shall improvise and hope she approves. Gryffindor. According to the Sorting Hat, their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Coming from the Wild Moor, they are the most courageous house and perform brave deeds. They are also notably loyal to their friends and to the causes they believe in. As a classic Gryffindor, Hermione Granger would probably choose a perfume that reflected her confident, energetic and fiercely loyal personality. The rose, whilst having strong romantic symbolism, is also associated with nobility. It is the queen of the flowers, after all. So this could form a great basis for a Gryffindor-style perfume. Here are some other lovely scents that also traditionally represent the virtues of the Gryffindor house. Many of these are taken from the Victorian language of flowers, and others, well, they just feel right, as each scent has its own unique character. Scents for a Gryffindor. Bay for glory. Victors in races often wore crowns of bay leaves in Roman times. Seda, incorruptible. Chamomile, energy and adversary. Cloves, dignity. Honeysuckle, generous and devoted affection. Lemon, zest for life. Ginger, strength. Daffodil, chivalry. Elderflower, zeal. Magnolia, nobility. Sandalwood, royalty. Gorse, this is a scent found on the moors. The yellow flowers smell very like coconut. Here are some suitable ready-to-wear perfumes for a Gryffindor. Number 1. Imperial Majesty by Clive Christian this is one of the most expensive perfumes in the world. But hey, someone's got to wear it, and I reckon a Gryffindor could pull it off. A perfume fit for a queen. Honour Woman by Amouage. Another expensive and very classy perfume for a regal Gryffindor. The scent is gorgeous, brave and self-assured. But most of all, we love the name. Malabar by Penhaligans. One of my all-time favourite perfumes. This is just so warm and confident, and contains notes of lemon, cloves, ginger and sandalwood. All great Gryffindor scents, as we saw before. Hufflepuff The Hufflepuffs are described in the Song of the Sorting Hat as just and loyal, patient and true. From the Valley Boar, they are hard workers and unafraid of toil. And if this all sounds a little dull and plodding, bear in mind that they are definitely the most egalitarian of the four houses, as Helga Hufflepuff, rather than choosing her pupils for traits such as courage or ambition, said, I'll teach the lot and treat them just the same. Hufflepuffs are second only to the Gryffindors in bravery, and nearly as many Hufflepuffs as Gryffindors volunteered to stay behind in the final battle to fight Voldemort. In addition, Hufflepuff are very secretive. Their house common room has not been seen by a member of another house for over 1,000 years. J.K. Rowling said the Hufflepuff house had the best parties, in addition to being nearest to the kitchens and having the most comfortable common room. So I should imagine they're a pretty cheerful bunch. If you're looking to impress Cedric Diggory, you can accentuate your loyalty, true friendship and cheerful spirit by mixing and matching some of the following scents. Violet, faithful love. Daisy, innocence. Frankincense, faithful heart. Jasmine, amiability, happiness. Lilac, humility. Geranium, true friend. Neroli, discretion. Sunflower, this is just such a light-hearted and cheerful scent that I'm sure it would suit as a Hufflepuff. Vanilla or caramel, delicious. A Hufflepuff appreciates their food. Suitable ready-to-wear perfumes for a Hufflepuff include Angel by Fairy Muggler. For anyone who appreciates good food, this gourmand perfume is sure to be a real hit, featuring delicious notes of vanilla, caramel and chocolate. Angel, Garden of Stars, Violet Angel. All the gourmand joys of Fairy Muggler's usual style, but with added violety goodness. This is a really beautiful modern interpretation of the classic floral. Clinique Happy, or Sunflowers, by Elizabeth Arden. What's not to like about these two feel-good perfumes? They're so happy and uplifting they almost bounce up and lick your face like a puppy. Friendship and fun in a bottle. (music) 
Ravenclaw. According to the founder of Ravenclaw House, Rowena Ravenclaw, wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. This means that the students admitted to Ravenclaw are amongst the cleverest in the school. The Sorting Hat sings about their ready mind and great wit in learning, traits which are put to the test each morning as they must answer a riddle to enter their common room, rather than remember a password like the other houses. Ravenclaws, like many geniuses, are often seen by others as quite eccentric. As a result of being different and often misunderstood themselves, they are very accepting and understanding of other people's little quirks, and less likely to tease other students for being a little out of the ordinary. And of course, they make fantastic researchers and inventors. So, if you want to persuade Helena Ravenclaw to tell you where her diadem is, it might just help if you mix up a perfume potion of the following scents: coriander, concealed merit, cherry blossom, a good education, lotus, eloquence, lily of the valley, mental clarity, parsley, useful knowledge, sage, wisdom, authority, lime. This fresh and zingy citrus scent is a mental wake-up call. Aquatic notes. Watery notes are different yet refreshing. Here are some suitable ready-to-wear perfumes for a Ravenclaw. Extract of limes or Endymion by Penhaligons. Extract of limes is just so incredibly fresh; it's like a blast of cold water in your face. But perfect if you want to spur the mental zombies from their sleep and help them up to your level. Eccentric and subtly complex with discernible sage notes, Endymion is another perfume from Penhaligons that a Ravenclaw might appreciate. Lokitan Cherry Blossom, another delicate and refreshing fragrance with an inspiring yet unobtrusive beauty. The soft, almost ethereal fragrance is not going to distract you from your deep thoughts, but it's undeniably a best-kept secret. Lady Vengeance by Juliet has a gun. Something deep, intelligent, and ever so slightly eccentric. This is for women who know what they want and how to get it too. Slytherin. Finally, we come to perhaps the most charismatic and intriguing house. They've been painted rather black, but I can't help thinking that maybe the Slytherins don't a hundred percent deserve their bad reputation. Yes, there have been more Slytherin dark wizards than any other, but there must also be many Slytherins, such as Professor Slughorn, who are normal wizards living normal lives. And haven't we all been guilty of protecting ourselves at the expense of others now and then, or showing a little shrewd cunning to get what we want? For the Sorting Hat describes the Slytherins as cunning, shrewd, and power-hungry. They have great ambition, an ambition so great, in fact, that they will use any means to achieve their ends. Nothing significant has ever been achieved without ambition and a certain amount of ruthlessness, whether it's leading an army or neglecting your family to pursue your research relentlessly. So I suppose whether many of these traits is a bad thing really depends on whether the Slytherin is on your side or not. If they're working for your cause, then you probably couldn't ask for a better ally. If they're not, then you better watch out, as they may not play by the rules. Without a doubt, the Slytherins are risk takers and rebels with a certain disregard for the rules. Enchant your fellow snakes and win some house points for Slytherin with a combination of these dark and mysterious scents: lavender, distrust, tuberose, dangerous pleasures, tulip, fame, a poppinax or sweet myrrh. Traditionally used in embalming, this has a sweet and cloying scent. Pink peppercorn, a sweet and spicy fragrance. Opium, darkly mysterious, with a hint of danger. Leather, warm, musky, and sensual. Musk, seductive, animalistic, and deep. Incense, reminiscent of magic and fire. Patchouli or oak moss, green and earthy, with an otherworldly undertone. Suitable ready-to-wear perfumes for a Slytherin. Poison by Christian Dior. With notes of coriander, tuberose, and a poppinax, this is a darkly mysterious perfume with a lot of spirit and charisma. Opium by Yves Saint Laurent, likened by its creator to represent the fatal ecstasy of falling in love, this powerful and enigmatic perfume caused quite a controversy. I've enjoyed my little Potter and perfumes lighter fancy. Personally, I don't like to limit myself to one house. I like to wear a different fragrance every day, depending on the occasion. It's actually interesting to experience how a scent can influence your personality. Try a Slytherin perfume if you want to feel dark and dangerous one of these days. Or, if you're normally quiet and charismatic, try something from the Hufflepuff list to see the world through some rose-tinted specks. Go on, I dare you. If you'd like to design your own unique perfume, please visit my site, designyourownperfume.co.uk. Thanks for listening.